Hello, in this video we're going to look at how to calculate the net present value from sponsoring a Formula One team. Suppose Google spends $100 million to sponsor McLaren's Formula One team. Google believes the sponsorship will increase Google's profit by $35 million per year over the next four years. What is the net present value of the sponsorship if Google requires a 10% rate of return on similar investments? The net present value is going to equal the following. We have this minus $100 million cash flow at time zero. This represents the payment from Google uh, to McLaren for their sponsorship to get their name on their car. Google believes the sponsorship will increase its profit by $35 million per year due to the advertising effect. So $35 million at the end of the next four years. That's what these four payments represent. And then we're going to discount each one of these payments. This first payment is going to occur one year from now, so it's discounted back one year, where this 0.1 is the 10% required rate of return, or the discount rate. Then this $35 million is going to be discounted back two years, so that's why this exponent is two. And then this $35 million of increased revenue uh, is going to be discounted back three years. And then this $35 million that occurs in the fourth year at the end of the fourth year is discounted back four years. So 1 plus 0 0.1, just simplify the denominators here a little bit. And then simplify them a little bit more. 1.1 squared is 1.21, 1.1 raised to the third power is 1.331, and so on. And now doing a little division here, 35 divided by 1.1 is 31.82, and so on. And we have a net present value that is positive of almost $11 million. So this investment increases the value of Google by almost $11 million. Since this net present value is greater than or equal to zero, uh, this is a good investment. So in general, we don't want to invest if the net present value is negative. That is not the case here. Okay, that's it.